This is no agenda. Uh, maybe just a funny one. It's a Dutch I have pop- a funny one. Gingrich is full of crap. Well, is that funny or just the truth? It's funny to me. Is it the truth? Is it true? It's funny to me. I'll just set it up as a quick, quick hit. It's a Gingrich. There's a there was a convention. Uh, I think it's still maybe still going on. I'm not sure. It's called. Uh, let me look. Let me flip through my notes. Uh, the National Conservative Principles PAC meeting, where all the conservatives came and they lectured the the harangue these conservatives all their basic ideas. So Gingrich comes up with this kind of this typical thing, and then he drops a bomb at the end, which is just bull crap. And it's like you know, I'll explain it after you play it. I just I'm I'm very optimistic. I believe that in 2012 we could win a historic election. And we could end the 80-year dominance of the left and what? fundamentally what? recenter this. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The what? 80-year dominance of the left. Uh, this proves our theory that it's one big party. 80, yeah, obviously. <laughs> if 80 years. 80. 80. Years? Did he mean eight? Or did, no, it wasn't it's even eight. 80. It's been two. It's been two. Exactly. It's been two. <laughs> Do we have to listen to more or is that it? Oh, that wasn't it. That's just another oh, 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 okay. country back into a center-right government reflecting the core values of the American people. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Newt, 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 Newt. I think Newt. there are three large topics on which we can recenter America. The first is values, because this is truly a center-right country, not a left-wing country. The second is the economy. Squirrel. Because this is a country that favors jobs, paychecks, and economic growth. And squirrels. And the third is national security. Let me briefly describe why I believe this is true. Mm. Gallup, about two months ago, asked the question. Here it is. Do you believe that the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence make America an exceptional country, or do you believe we're a normal country? (laughs) By 80 to 18, the American people said we're an exceptional country. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. Newt, 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 Newt. The problem is the 18 includes many of our politicians, many of our bureaucrats, many of our judges, much of our news media, and many of our tenured faculty. Who says? <laughs> Where does he get this bull crap? Study says. Study shows. Include, it doesn't say the 18% include the <laughs> tenured professors, the news media, the politicians. Where is this? That's not in the poll. Watson did some deep he just analysis. Made it up. Watson did deep analysis and came up with the solution. He just made it up and throw it out there. Like, what's the 18%? The 18% are probably illegal aliens for all we know. We don't know who the 18% are. I said, that's what I'd be irked about if I was an illegal alien. That's what I'd check on the box. Ah, this country sucks. Or, or some Swiss guy who's been, you know, lives in Geneva or Zug. Yeah, it's just a normal country. There's nothing special about this place. John C. Dvorak's pet peeve of the day.